about this um how the most powerful characters in one piece do not have ships first of all thank you to the seven finger man for tagging me in this video and i hope the creator doesn't mind me stitching i have thought about this and i think about this a lot the reason i think about it a lot is that i get a lot of questions that are you know why don't you enter the grand line from here why doesn't everyone coat their ship with sea prism and that picture that the creator had behind them is a perfect example of most of my explanations most people in the one piece world actually don't understand how the world works for example, Zoro in that scene was, because he was from the East Blue, under the impression that having a big ship, having large numbers, that's what makes you powerful. But true power in the One Piece world comes from two things. One of those things most of the people in the world doesn't even know exists, and the other one, a lot of people believe to be a myth. So if you're ever asking yourself a question like, why don't pirates just enter the Grand Line from here and go right to the final island? The answer is because they have no idea that that's even a possibility. They still think that the most scary thing in the world is probably a sea king, and that power comes from having a big ship or a lot of people. 